Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about how to find the value of ax in this equation. Okay, look at the questions. Just look at the question over here. How can we solve the value of x over here? Right? So look at here the question that is 3 to the power x to the power 2 by 3 to the power 2 to the power x is equal to 27. Right? How can you find the value of x over here? Simple question, just look at here. So this thing you know it better. So that is a formula is there. You know it better. That is a to the power m all to the power n. So that is you are this to this you are multiplying. So what you are saying a to the power m n to n. That is a to the power m n you are saying right. Okay. So what I am doing here. I am just numerator part as it is just look at here. 3 to the power x square. All divided by denominator part. That is I am applying this formula a to the power m all to the power n. That is a to the power m n to n. So you can say that a to the power m n. So simply you have to say that 3 to the power 2x, right, is equal to what 27, okay. Now after that see, how can you solve this? After that look at here, again you have to apply the formula over there, what is that? So you know that is a to the power m, whole divided by a to the power n. What is the formula, one of the best part, best part same and power part, power part different. What is the formula, a to the power m minus n, right. Okay, applying the same formula over here, that is 3 to the power m minus n, Matlab, this is what m. So you have write x square minus 2x is equal to what 27. Is it okay? Fine. Okay. So now look at here. That is 3 to the power x square minus 2x is equal to 27. So instead of 27, you may also write that is 3 to the power 3. Yes, or 3 cube we can say that. Yeah, absolute right. Okay, so now look at here the base part, base part same. And the power part is what different? Power part is what different? So what you have write over here that is x square minus 2x is equal to what 3 okay so now you have to write like this that is x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 right so now this is a what quadratic equation okay i think you know it better how to solve the quadratic equation right how can you solve this just look at here so i am writing over here that is x square minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so this is a what quadratic equation okay you know it better how to solve the quadratic equation okay so look at the product part is what minus 3 and the sum part is what minus 3. Okay, so look at the product part is what minus 3 over here and sum part is what minus 2. Think about your brain, what is that two number whose sum will be minus 2 and product will be minus 3. Right, what is that number minus 3 and plus 1. What is that two number minus 3 and plus 1, right. So you have to split this middle term, right. So what do you have to write, x square minus 3x plus x minus 3 is equal to 0, okay. Instead of minus 2x, you are splitting this one, you have to write like this, that is minus 3x plus x. Okay, so then after what you have to do, look at this one. So you have to take it as x common here, that is x common, it will be x minus 3. Again plus 1 common here, that is x minus 3 is equal to 0. Right, okay. So now see here x minus 3 and x minus 3 common is there. Put the common in the left side, that is x minus 3 common. And bacha away, yeah, x plus 1, put it over here, x plus 1 is equal to what, 0. Right. Okay, then after what you have to do C. So that means you have to say x minus 3 is equal to what 0. So x value is what plus 3 you are getting, right? And another that is x plus 1 equal to what 0 and x value is equal to what minus 1 you are getting, right? So x equal to plus 3 and x equal to minus 1. So this is this is your answer. This is your value of x. Okay, so in this way you have to solve the value of x. Okay, students, if you really like this video, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, students, thank you.